All right, welcome on into the restaurant show. We're here on location. Uh, we're here with Jamie from Smoke and Moe's Barbecue. We got a pork butt here, but before we get into that, Jamie, I want to hear a little bit about the background of the business. How did Smoke and Moe's get started? And uh, you know, it's a catering business. You bring it to the people. So, what was the what was the story behind that? Well, the owner Eddie, uh, he he wanted to uh, get back into the food the food business after okay. being out of it for a while and. Uh, what what better than to just be a catering business, you know, yeah, you, and do, you and do the, barbecue. You get the meat, you cook the meat, and, and do all everything that uh, is necessary to get a beautiful piece of meat cooked perfectly. And, uh, and, and you know, you bring it to the people, obviously, and, and then you can order uh, order online. What's the, the information there? What's, what's um, the, they, they usually just, you know, they can order online or, or they can order through a uh, telephone. Okay, and you have the number ready? I, I don't have it memorized, but we'll, uh, we'll have the information for you anyway on the screen. So, uh, Smoke and Moe's Barbecue, tell us about uh, this, this uh, smoker here. So, you have different, you showed me some pictures on your phone before we came on air. There's, you have different trailers as well. One that's being, being made that'll be a bigger one than this one, but tell us about this monster. All right, th this one here is a reverse flow uh, smoker, which means that the, the fire starts on one end goes underneath the cooking chamber, comes up and across the meat and then out of the smokestack. Okay, and the theory behind that is is what? You have better control over the heat. And you don't have you so don't like have an important factor. Yeah. You don't have a real hot spot and you don't have a real cold spot. Okay. And then this was was this a local piece or how did this how did we get this here today? This was made by uh, Graves Commercial Smokers in Georgia. In Georgia. So that's I mean it's coming from the south so you know yeah. it's it's a quality piece yeah. there when it comes to barbecue. So uh, I guess we'll focus on the meat now. Uh, we got the pork butt. What are we going to do with this and how long is it going to cook? What is it going to look like? All that stuff. Well, this is your typical pork butt. Um, on, most people think pork butt, you know, comes from that area. Actually, right. it's not. It's actually from the shoulder area. It's it's Blown this, here. Right. this okay. part of the muscle right there. Um, there's actually three muscles inside of this piece of meat. Okay. Um, we're just gonna do something simple with this. We're gonna turn it into pulled pork for sandwiches. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Let's do some good so old pulled pork. Really, there's not there's not a lot that we have to do to it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put some rub on it. Uh, we're gonna cook it. Um, after it's cooked for a while, we're going to wrap it to, to keep that moisture in. Okay, because that's what's going to give you the ability to. Yep, it's going to steam apart. itself. Okay, gotcha. There's um, a couple different steps. Then, af after about 12 hours, um, once it gets up to about 205 degrees, we'll take it out and it, it should just fall apart. All right, so longest restaurant show episode coming up right here. No, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll cut it short. We'll show the uh, the finished product here, but I guess um, go ahead and, and, and walk us through the steps and tell us what you're doing here. All right, so what the first thing that we do, there's no trimming involved in this from, for what we're going to do. We're just going to put some, put some rub on it and we're just going to coat it generously on all sides. And your rub, is this a special blend that's, this, this, uh, is it a secret? This is, this is our secret homemade, homemade rub. Now I've had some other, you had some ribs with a similar type of, the same rub, right? Yep. Yep, because it had a little bit of that uh, spiciness to it, but also it was, it was sweet enough that you're, you're getting all sorts of different kinds of flavors in that, in that yep. meat, so that's about what we're the, looking about for. The only thing that we don't use this rub on is brisket. Brisket, okay, different case for that. Yep. So, all right, what's next? So we're gonna put this, we're putting we're, this we're on, gonna, is it ready to yep, go? we're gonna put it right in, right in the smoker. Oh, just like Close that. Okay, and how long is that gonna stay in there? You said 12 hours? Yep, for about 12 hours. Okay, well, that'll, we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at what's the, what's the finished product look like? Well, the finished product, Ends up looking like this. Oh yeah, super tender. So I mean, it, you can just pull it apart. It just falls apart. Man, and so you're you're pulling that off, and then what are we looking for as far as cook-wise? Is there, you know, it, it looks like you know that's pretty much pulled pork. Basically, we so just want it to be tender. You just want it to be tender. Yep. And then we can. Oh, okay, so it's pulled apart. You got meat claws that you pull it apart with, and so it's going to be a little bit more fibrous kind of looking there and then uh, as far as taste we're looking for you know, uh, we're, we're looking for a little bit of sweet you know a little bit of um, a little bit of heat to it not a lot of heat you know just something good for to put in a sandwich okay so you know? how should I how should I grab this we don't have a I don't have a you put that together it with in your sandwich, finger, it's so barbecue let's do that so 
Mm. Oh yeah. It's um, you can taste some of that. It definitely has a different taste from ribs for sure, because you have all sorts of different um, stuff going on with the, you know, it's being pulled apart. Um, you got sweetness. You've got some uh, the smokiness going on with it, and. Um, Delicious piece of meat. So, what what else is uh, are, are we doing at, at uh, Smoke and Bones Barbecue? What other kind of uh, meats you do? You talked about the uh, brisket a little bit. We we do brisket. Um, Get more of that. Um, we do chicken. We do uh, ribs. Uh, pretty much anything that you can grill or smoke, we do. Mm. You know, and the the if you have something that you really want to have, we'll mm. cook it. Man, and you do it right, cause that is. Super, super tender and juicy, and everything you're looking for in a pork butt. And this is the cheap version yeah. of a pig roast, right here. Well, hey, uh, I'm, you know, what's uh, we got the good prices going on. That's why we're we're doing what we can do. And I, I'm not I'm not picky at all when it comes to my barbecue, as far as like what kind of meat it is. As long as we're doing it right and it tastes good, that's what I'm looking for. So, um, smokingmodesbarbecue.com. You go to the website there catering, all that good stuff, and you're located in Madison. Monona. Monona, technically, all right, there we go. So um, check them out, man, I, I recommend it highly, and we will, uh, we'll have more, I'm gonna finish this off, all of it, that's just me, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, come on back for more Restaurant Show, we'll have more after this. Coming up, we're heading to Verona to check out the Verona Woods and see exactly what makes their dishes so special.